hello dear all kate back here and welcome welcome to the channel finally it's christmas my favorite time of the year it's a very very special time for me and time to cherish uh, the company of my loved ones enjoy simple things in life and of course it's a perfect occasion to overindulge in some delicious food which i guilty as charged do quite a bit i uh, also catch up on much needed sleep and of course enjoy classic movies during christmas how about you how do you spend this magical time of the year in this video i'll take you on a captivating journey through the enchanting christmas festivities of switzerland we will visit Zurich, Winterthur, Luzern and Zug. Prepare yourself to be enchanted by the Christmas markets, indulge in delightful local treats and I'll tell you everything about what we're seeing in these cities during the Christmas season. We're going to start with Winterthur, a place that is dear to my heart. is a hidden gem nestled in a Swiss countryside or like a suburbs of Zurich, I would even say. Here you will discover Christmas markets that exude very cozy and intimate charm. They're not usually very crowded and that's the, trust me, the beauty of them because most of them are extremely crowded, especially over the weekend. Never, ever, never go to the Christmas market during the weekend if you can avoid that. Ideally go during the weekdays, like noon afternoon towards evening. Not even after work hours and so around three or four would be the perfect time. So the market here is set against the backdrop of, of historic old buildings because one of the markets actually set up in the downtown, in the center of the old town, right? And the other market is set up farther away, which is also really nice. So you have a chance to sample local delicacies, freshly baked gingerbread, savory cheese fondue that you would find anywhere and everywhere. That's truly the flavor that defines Swiss cuisine. Fragrant aromas of cinnamon and mulled wine put Winterthur in Christmassy mood. Under a blanket of light, 70 stalls and little houses. Here you could sample uh, the dishes from all over the world, of course. Have it all with mulled wine. My personal favorites, not particularly healthy but extremely tasty, are the fried apples in a dough, like deep fried apples in... Uh, I think in donut dough and all of that in, in a vanilla sauce is really something not to be missed. Next up on our list is Zurich. I did not follow my own advice. I did go to Zurich on Saturday and look what I've got. It was almost impossible to even power through the lines. Like we just went right through it and it is very beautiful. No doubt about that, but it is extremely crowded. So certainly try to avoid uh, the weekends, go during uh, the weekdays. Nevertheless, very picturesque, very beautiful place. Certainly very vibrant <laughs> with a lot of holiday spirit can wander through the streets adorned with twinkling lights. I'll show you in just a moment how beautiful Zurich is at night. Christmas markets in Zurich are really a sight to behold, with charming wooden stalls offering a wide array of handcrafted gifts, ornaments, and of course, delicious treats. You'll have opportunity to immerse yourself with a joyful atmosphere, a lot of music, a lot of live music as well. In front of every single Christmas market, you would have this schedule where they would share with you what would happen on what days and at what time, right? So what is worth planning for and worth coming for. And usually there's a lot of really, really cool stuff going on.
we got tired quite quickly from the crowd so we uh, went right into our favorite coffee shop um, not too far from Christmas markets and had hot chocolate with a bunch of cakes which was just as festive and just as great but far less crowded and much warmer. Next on our list is Lutzen, a city truly renowned for breathtaking landscapes and rich cultural heritage. Located on the lake with mountain backdrops, like the best of what Switzerland has to offer, Lutzen pretty much has it all. In terms of Christmas markets, I wasn't particularly impressed. They're not as large, there are not as many of them. Lutzern actually wasn't as nicely decorated as the rest of the places, but it's still fun. Uh, there are a couple of Christmas markets there, and given how beautiful the city is itself, uh, it's certainly worth a visit. <laughs> especially if it snows. In our case, we were not particularly lucky. It was a heat wave, so it was actually rainy. Uh, when we were there, I can add some snow here, uh, but that's just a filter, <laughs> not a real deal. So if you have a chance to visit Lucerne when it's actually snowing properly, then of course uh, the experience would be far more magical. However, here as well, you could get really nice, like we actually were attending it and there was a concert, a live music, so certainly worth the visit anyway. Had some mulled wine, enjoyed some food, and uh, yeah, within a few hours we were done, but it was fun. Finally Tsuk. I personally really really like this tiny town. It's not particularly large. In fact, very very small, more of a village rather than a town even. But it is beautiful and it has beautiful Christmas markets. Unfortunately, we missed them. They're incredibly short. They're like a couple of weeks long only. I think we were there on like 14th of December and it was done <laughs> already. So do check the schedules, um, different cantons in different cities have them in different time periods. Tsuk would have certainly worth uh, the trouble going for Christmas markets because the backdrop is very beautiful. It's a very, very beautiful small town with just fantastic streets and having Christmas market there would have been absolutely amazing. However, even if you don't catch the Christmas market, there's still some stalls. I mean, you can get some mulled wine in some places. You can walk around and the Christmas decorations are really nice. Christmas lights are very beautiful. So certainly would uh, enhance your Christmas spirit and Christmas mood if you go there.
and that is all that I wanted to share with you about Christmas in Switzerland. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful Christmas time with your loved ones. Do let me know how you're celebrating. If there are any cool traditions you would like to share, would love to read about them. Again, thank you so much for joining. Have a wonderful Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and see you soon.